Yeah, so my knee jerk, uh, personally, I'd cast three votes for the new comprehensive plan. Because I think most of what we're talking about here is going to has to be addressed by the comprehensive plan. Yeah. Uh, some of these items are very long lead items because of their expense. Uh, and uh, frankly, they're going to take a whole lot of thought. And I think a lot of that thought uh, is involved in preparing the comprehensive plan. So you know, I have a, a little bit of a concern about addressing things sort of in a vacuum outside of the comprehensive plan, because all of these things are completely interconnected. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think that, uh, you know, we get the right consultant on board. Uh, and the beauty of, of this exercise, frankly, is if in fact that's the direction we go, we have almost a RFP prepared. These are the issues that are critical to us. Uh, so when we start uh, down the road of hiring a consultant, they know exactly what our concerns are. And, yeah. You know. um, comprehensive plan. And I, I realize that it's unanimous. Each one of you put your thought into the comprehensive plan. And so I'm sort of the voice out here, but I'm going to say it anyway. Here's your comprehensive plan. This plan was done in 2005. Here is your traffic study and parking analysis. Okay? I believe most of the members of the planning commission have the comprehensive plan. It isn't the first comprehensive plan. You've got lots of them. It's a great governmental bureaucratic process. You will get a budget. And then, as was pointed out by some really smart people, over the next two to three years, you'll come up with another document. And it will sit on the shelf. My concern with the comprehensive plan isn't the 20 grand that it's going to cost. My concern is that that will be the focus of the Planning Commission for the next three years, or two, or whatever. Okay. And at the end of the day, the recommendations in the comprehensive plan may or may not be different than the ones that have been made in the last four, okay? You know, you look at this, and it's interesting to look at the names, okay? Right now on here, okay, the, the, only, the only consistent ones right now are, uh, you know, you've got Colossimo on here. We've got the Blasio, my dad, here. It's just another group trying to come up with a plan. And I don't mind that, but I would look at implementing. Now, you know, you point out pedestrian safety. Great. You've got some people that are going to work on it. The other piece that seems to have some traction is the North End. Maybe you put something in your budget request for actual detailed drawings that can supplant Mike Haberman's drawing on the north end. Maybe you try and get some budgetary money not to, you know, to actually look at areas and, and come up with actual plans to be put forth to be implemented. We have ideas. What we are lacking is specificity and projects. And the planning commission should be the home to come up with that specificity in those projects. You talked about, yes, it was environmental planning and design that after a year or two came up with a plan for the Baldwin Street area. Didn't like it, but you haven't moved forward to adjust that plan to something, to something more in the planning commission. Council's taken pieces of it and run with it. That's what I was alluding to before the meeting. But the planning commission has not grabbed any piece that, hey, this is our plan or our recommendation to council for what we should do in any of those pieces. Thank you. So, Pat, I got a question. In your concept, the, the Planning Commission develops a comprehensive plan. Who implements it? Uh, council implements it, but uh, Larry, Thank here's you. the thing that's, about the... Hold, right. on, hold on a second. But I, I understand, but the Planning Commission has some role in, in, in detailing the plan. Okay, now you have a comprehensive plan that says we're supposed to be looking at traffic. It's in there, okay? The north end, the pedestrian safety, the small town charm, all of those things are in the comprehensive plan. 
Now, shouldn't the doesn't the planning commission have a role in the details? Don't they implement? Don't they come along with recommending to council? Here are the details of how we would like to solve the north end. I don't think so. No, I don't agree with that. Okay, so you then then their role is purely to do a comprehensive plan and walk away. That they don't have a planning role in, you know, well, in the. I mean, I agree with you. There's very little role for the planning commission. It's a recommending body, and it doesn't do it. It doesn't have any anything else. But I was hoping that, you know, this group of people would actually look to get some mm-hmm. uh, some details because council's not. Yeah. Well, and you know, we can't force council to spend money, obviously. And the detail, the devil's always in the details. You know, and some of these things, like a traffic plan, you're going to hire a traffic engineer and they're going to give you the detail. You're not going to come up with that detail. I'm not going to come up with that detail. That's what you hire right. professional consultants for. And either and, and that's what Haber doesn't hire them. Right. And that's what my, my hope was, is that the planning commission would ask council to hire a traffic engineer to work on whatever project the planning commission thought was good. And there seems to be some traction to pedestrian safety and the North end. So my hope is that the planning commission will recommend to council that they budget some money for a traffic engineer and that the home for that could be the planning commission (laughs) so that the traffic engineer would report back to the planning commission to come up with a plan for solving the problem. 